Hello everybody, AOG Gaming here, back with another video on Mech Arena. Hello. Um, so yeah, we're just we're just playing some games, you know. And that's pretty much it. Got him. I was waiting for them to pile up so I can kill them all. There we go. Literally, like, don't even talk, bro. You guys were lagging out the game and hacking, so <laughs> don't even talk. Freaking cheating over here. Now they're mad that I'm actually playing because I, I wasn't playing for, like, a hot sec there. Oh, sorry. Oh, we got a panther over here. Okay, I don't know why that didn't automatically trigger, but okay. Noise. Oh, that was such good timing by my teammate. Oh my goodness. Okay, well now they're actually trying, so yeah. <laughs> Okay, well, we keep going with Panther and we rush because we want to give our team cover first. Okay, well, I guess everyone went the other way. Oh, yeah, great. Oh, well, of course they're going to come after me. They're all little pieces of shit that only know how to jump people. <laughs> like, they have no teamwork whatsoever. They're literally just running into... And why am I being targeted? Okay. That's fine. I did kill a lot of them, so it makes sense, but... Uh... Yeah, they have fucking gate crashers and all this shit, and then they're like mad at us for trying to. Yeah, no, don't, don't even. If you, if you guys are splitting your legs open like your wallets, then don't even. For Mech Arena, like, don't even. Yeah, this is probably one of the worst weapons to take out on this map. I don't know why I. Well, it looks like we're going to lose this, which sucks, but, you know, I can't really do much about it when my teammates are just not good. <laughs> and also, I uh, brought the wrong weapon into this game, so, yeah. I mean, I can just do this and, like, get a few more hits. Okay, well, he got me, so that... That sucks. Oh, you finally killed him. Wow. Great job. You did something. Not completely useless after all. <laughs> Literally the only person on my goddamn team who was doing shit. And here's a prime example of why this game still sucks. So yeah, that, that wasn't that bad, but um, yeah, the gameplay is just really trash at this point. <laughs> You're basically just facing maxed out players or players that have like all the legendary stuff in the game. Like, it makes no sense. I have nothing legendary on my setup other than one weapon. Literally, that's it. Um, and I guess you do the skins, but skins don't matter whatsoever. Like, you, you can get lucky and get those. Those aren't paid to... Well, they are kind of paid to get, but you can get lucky and get those. Um, yeah, like, I, I just don't understand. Like, Bastions, freaking Gate Crashers. Like, I'm, I don't have any of those mechs, and I'm facing them all. And they're all pretty high level, too. So, 
I basically just have to use Panther. That's the only mech I can use because it's the one that I have the most maxed out since I've been using it the longest and have poured most of my resources into it. So yeah. Uh, oh, I should have switched weapons before I came through. That's fine. Uh, we don't really use the Ares anyway. Okay, hopefully nobody blocks my path. Nice. So I can just do a little bloop bloop bloop. Oh, I walked right into that, didn't I? Got him. Bro, why 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 would you do that? You got closer to to a kill shot? Okay, that's fine by me. It's a panther with okay, yeah, this guy is obviously just splurging on this game. Nice. I was just trying to make sure that my teammates weren't getting bullied on. Okay, cool. Well, it seems like everyone's just going their own way instead of actually following some... I, I don't understand why he did that, but okay. Hey. <laughs> just gonna pop up this wall again. Oh, they have a pretty tight defense over here, so. Oh, I don't know why I stopped moving there for a second, but that was not me whatsoever. <laughs> okay, that that was kind of stupid. That was good timing on them. That, that was great play right there. They still lost, but that was great play. Okay, let's go around, which is fine by me. Well, okay, well, I guess he just popped out of fucking nowhere, because, you know, it's better to have that than, uh, Oh, yeah, and then my wall doesn't activate till a fucking second later, so that's great. I can't even kill this dude. Oh, thank you for being a worthless teammate. <laughs> Did you just die to that? Oh, okay, I was about to say. Good job. I just got to say that. Don't think he knew how that works, but okay. Where? I just keep getting fucking flanked out of nowhere. What? What is this bullshit? <laughs> Every single goddamn time. I, I'm so pissed at this point. L just literally leave me the fuck alone. Oh, and it does nothing, of course. Yeah, yeah. Great, uh, great, uh... Ooh, okay. Yeah, get behind cover, bro, because I'm about to get you. Got him. We're, we might lose this round, though, because they were coming specifically after me. And that's no bueno. Because <laughs> apparently I'm the only one on my fucking team who knows how to do shit. It's so, it's so annoying. It really is. Like, playing with bots is like just not playing the game at all it's that's how fun it is i love how i'm aiming for a very specific spot and then the game tries to lag to make it even harder to hit have fun with that
Yo, I'm gonna be here. Huh? Okay. This dude is does not know how to use his mech. Okay. Oh wow. Okay. You're just gonna kill yourself right there. Very interesting how that works, but okay. Look at the lag. This is just atrocious. Yeah, it's really funny how Mecarina keeps posting stuff and they, they still don't acknowledge their fucking problems. It's really sad. Yes, just stand in front of the... F My goodness, so fucking idiotic. Sometimes I wonder if these people even play the game. What? I was about to say the bullshit of this fucking game. Literally shot him a hundred fucking times and didn't hit him once. Oh. Wait a second. I'm confused. Where was that? Oh, here? There we go. Oh, I still got him. I still got him. I still got him. <laughs> Don't die. Please don't die. Oh! <laughs> okay. God damn, I'm facing like five players and I'm playing with fucking four bots and it's just so stupid. I can't, literally can't do anything without playing around them. Ugh. And if those weren't bots, then come on, people. Like, it, it's... If you're this far in the game, you should know how to play. Like at that point, it's just embarrassing watching you play and, and fail that badly. Unless you haven't played in a while, which makes sense. But for the most part, people who are up in this, I guess I'm only, I'm in the lower heat novice bracket, but still, that's not how the game works. It places you with mechs that are similar powers. So anyone around this power level is already good at the game. Or decent at the game. To the point where they're not just walking into enemy fire or killing themselves instantly. Yes, there's mistakes. Those happen. Um, but like the absurdity of the gameplay that you guys see every single time I record. Those are obviously bots. There's no way. Like if those were actual humans, then they're hiring like three-year-olds to play the game. Because those, like those, those robots or players, whichever ones they are. They just don't know how to play, and it makes no sense because most of the overpowered bots do. So I just don't understand. Uh, maybe it's just bot accounts. Like it's not a well-built account, so it functions weird how the real bot works. I, I don't know. Really, they just have to fix this game because, um, I mean, everything that they release is a hundred plus dollars. Like I said, um. You can watch my previous video. I talked about like what they have to do to really get people back on the game because yeah, all the shady stuff that they were doing and well, it wasn't really shady. It was more just scamming and the fact that they just don't listen to their players is a red flag like immediately. Yeah, they listen to questions that literally every player is asking but when it comes to like a majority question that only like maybe let's say 80% of the player player base is talking about but it's mostly the free-to-play players they just won't acknowledge it whatsoever and it's true like i've asked them straight up they, they won't acknowledge it and i know i'm like some random youtuber or some random person so they probably don't know who i am it doesn't fucking matter you have an account you have subscribers you have a player base who's commenting you should fucking answer them that's how simple it is you make a game for them well you're not making it specifically for them but you're making a game to attract players and you're not even listening to those people when they're commenting on your YouTube channel because you guys don't want to have don't want to seem to have bad impressions on new players or whatever. At this point you guys just seem like a scum company. I'm sorry, but it's true. Like 
all you got to do is answer our concerns. I know you guys are trying to be secretive with your updates too. That's fine. Just give us a timeline. Give us like a month that you're going to release it. I know you guys are testing and stuff. You've had three fucking months to test things. Like, it's not even an excuse at this point because you guys release weapons for $100 that aren't even tested or balanced. They break the fucking game and then you rebalance them. And you're telling me that you're testing this new feature. The only thing I can see that you guys are trying to test is how much money you can make out of it. Like, that's the only thing. Because otherwise, it works. Like, I've seen people review the Gear Hub already. The Gear Hub works very well. Well, not very well, but it's pretty good for free to play. You unlock certain stuff. It might be a little bit harder for free to play new players, just like starting out fresh. Because the Gear Hub um, and like the new path system, like you don't get Panther and um, Kill Shot anymore, obviously, because they're epic. Um, so it's just a little bit harder to progress, just like starting out new. But for everybody who's already in the game, who has like a decent amount of stars or just like has their uh, weapons and max maxed out to a certain extent or just like ranked up and leveled up, they will be getting a lot. And I think that's one thing that Plarium doesn't like because those people are going to be spending less money. And to them, that's uh, 100% a detriment. And it's like that with every company now. They only see money as a means to the end and the only thing, the only reason they're building the game, which sucks because that's not the reason why video games were invented in the first place. They're invented to have fun, to enjoy, to have a social experience. Now it feels like mobile games are just about having the highest stats, having the best stuff, having the most money. Like those three things are what define your level or your standing in a game. First and foremost is the wallet. The number one thing, because it seems like in-app purchases, like, yeah, I mean, they're fine. But the fact that people are willing to spend that much money and that they are going to, allow the whales, they ruin the entire ecosystem. Because now it's just the whales who are going to be there and then eventually the game will die and then nobody will keep playing it. And that's just how it works. It's not the whales' fault, really. It's both the whales and the the developers because they make the game in a way that they don't adhere to free to play. They don't talk about concerns or they don't address them for free to play, and they only fix things that break the game for things that you pay money for. Really, like Macarena is a prime example of that. That's all it did. Yeah, some games do fix some free to play stuff, which is good, but they you know they still need a bit more focus. At least they do that. Macarena, nada, nothing. Literally, this pass right here is just so that you can buy more stuff. That's literally this prog This progress path was not for free to play. This progress path was so that you can see, oh, I unlocked the mech. Well, guess what? Now you got to spend about three to six months grinding as hard as possible, maybe spending up to $100 a week trying to stay in the meta so that you can get enough A coins around 8,000 or 9,000 per legendary mech or whatever the hell it is. Or like 4,000 for the, some of the epic ones. Just to get the mech at the lowest rank possible. Unless you bought it, which would be like rank 2. But yeah, I mean, it's it's at its base rank, which is still pretty solid. But there was no free to play in the first place. So really, it, it it's stupid. Because Plaria made Raid Shadow Legends. And that game is a banger. Yes, it's very time consuming. It's the only thing I hate about that game. And it's more specific that it's time consuming in one reason, and that's the fact that you gotta watch the battle. You can't skip the freaking battles. I don't know if they've had an update where they fixed that, but the fact that I have to sit there in campaign and watch the same characters, well, you know, it changes a little bit, you know, you upgrade some stuff, but for the most part, the same characters over and over. And over again, it gets really monotonous, really boring. Because you got to do the same thing for every other event. You sit there, you watch, and you can't skip the battles. And I feel like after doing the battle once, you should be able to just skip. Because that's how every other game works. 
and I know Raid Shadow Legends was like the first one to start this whole role playing RPG turn based battle game that's like across all platforms, but that was at the beginning. The, the games have changed a lot. Raid Shadow Legends is not the best game anymore. It was for a while, but it's not the best, and there there are the key reasons. One. It, the battle system, like I, like I said, you can't skip a battle. Uh, I'm sure in specific spots you can, but you can't, which sucks. Um, but that's not my point. My point is that they have a few things to fix in Raid Shadow Legends, but other than that, it's like one of the best games you can play. Just grinding and spending your time on. I wouldn't say it's the best for your time just because of the whole sitting there and waiting. Because like, you don't do anything. Like, yeah, you can activate the abilities, but doing it auto is so much easier. And at that point, you should just let them skip the battle. Like, I, I don't understand. Um, and they catered towards free-to-play. Like, they have the Amazon um, Game Pass or whatever the exclusive perks, the seven-day free login. This game didn't give you anything like that, which I don't understand. Like, they did such a good, like project with how they started out raid shadow legends how they wanted it to be and yeah you can pay and um progress in that game a lot but really you can free to play it and pretty much spend amount the same amount of time if you spend about a hundred dollars in the game so really the progression doesn't matter that much if you use your wallet which i think is what helps it's more like the passes that are like monthly or weekly that help you because they're you know weekly uh wealth and it's like it's worth the money. Um, so it's a little different. This game, they just did not give a shit. They didn't have anything. They didn't give you anything for free. Like you had to buy all the mechs and stuff in the game, even on the progress path. They didn't give you any like seven day bonus sign in. They give you this like week, like the week, the bare minimum that they tried to do a daily login program. You get 3K credits which is helpful at the beginning. Now it literally does shit. It does nothing. You get crates every week. What does that do? Absolutely freaking nothing. Because why? You can already watch videos to get more crates. And really all you're doing is wasting your time opening crates and doing all this when you can just progress and get more rewards on a leaderboard or something. So this is completely useless. Unless they double everything, Like it really is just not helpful. Um... And it really just gives you blueprints and skins, which you can't even use because you need A-coins. So, yeah. <laughs> I, 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 There's just one thing they need to do to this game. And, oh, there's multiple things. But the one thing they need to do, like, and for sure, fix it so that it adheres to free-to-play and people who want to pay. I don't care if people want to pay money to be the best player in this game. That's their own choice. That's their own money. That That's how it should be. I care about the fact that because they're paying that much money and the fact that the game isn't balanced in any way, shape, or form, really, just the rarities, but that doesn't help because, you know, ranks, levels are a thing. Um, it really just degenerates the whole, like, I don't know what else I could possibly say. They don't watch my videos. They don't comment on anything. And I'm trying to help them. Yeah, it's being critical. You want the honest truth. Because if I don't give you the honest truth, I'm not critical enough so that you can actually fix your game, Plarium. It's not going to help you in the long run. Like, I can tell you, yeah, just fix the matchmaking and it'll be better. No. Player base is still going to decrease if you have no free-to-play whatsoever. Like, this game is just... Just make the game worth $100 at that point. Like like I said with um, Ninja Kiwi, if they're going to charge $10 just permanently to get permanently a club pass so that you can do basically whatever you want in Battles 2, you don't have access to every hero, but you do unlock the club member pass so you can do like extra cool battle stuff and you unlock like the uh, elite events so that you can get like more monkey money, which I see, you know, that's great. That's good. It's only a $10 purchase. That's fine for like 99% of the people playing the game. Except for the fact that 
free to play is literally just the same, but you don't get anything. So I I'm very confused on that game too, because they had a free to play system before where you gain like $150, which was fine. It was it was great. Like yeah, it was still a little, like I would like it to be more, but you know, you could play like 20 battles and get a hero, which sounds about right. Now you get $80. So about half. So it takes 50 to 100 battles just to get one freaking hero. Literally the biggest waste of time ever. Like I know YouTube's, YouTubers can argue with me and stuff, but no. Like you guys can say it's skill issue or related or whatever. No. I just don't have access to half of the fucking towers in the game because they're behind paywalls. I don't have access to half of the fucking heroes in the game. Well, actually all of them except two because they're behind freaking paywalls. It really is not anything to do with me. It's everything to do with the developers. They are killing their own games. And it's sad because they have one goal in mind. And that's not the reason why games were made. Games weren't made so that people could make money. Games were made so that people could have fun. But I still understand the point. They need to make money. That's how, that's how they can keep supporting the game and keep releasing new content and stuff. I totally understand. Except don't make it your whole business plan. You make it your whole business plan and games end up like this. Literally 70% of the player base is not playing. Because why would they when it sucks? <laughs> um, yeah, let me look at my friends list real quick. This is probably the last thing I have to talk about. So yeah, they all say a week. That's complete bullshit. That's just Plarium Macarena trying to hide the fact that people haven't been on their game for like at least two or three months. And the reason they're hiding that is so that people keep playing. Um, maybe it's just a like factory thing that they said already. Like at the beginning of the game, they're like, yeah, it, it'll just show like a week, last online a week ago. But in fact, they haven't been on for like a month or something. Like I know because like the Huggy Wuggy, he definitely hasn't been on for at least four months because this dude has a pretty decent hanger. Like for just starting out free to play. Like, this is pretty decent. Uh, I think he bought the Missile Rack 8s, though, because those are... Yeah, and also Arctorn 6, so maybe he bought those, too. But, I mean, he has a decent account. Like, that's not bad. He was playing, like, a month ago. He hasn't been playing since a month. And they're trying to hide it, which is really, like, sus, you know? Like, why? We already know, like, the fact that all the comments on your YouTube are just shit. And you're not, a, a like replying to them that we know you're just trying to hide the fact that your game is dying like we, we it's so obvious it's not even funny it's just like okay i guess just be like that well that's all i have to say pretty much like the game it's still fun like the new maps that are releasing are cool i, I really do like these new maps um and like the new mechs yeah they're cool i guess i, I don't really care about this whole the new mechs because they're all you know pay to get and you can't really get them otherwise so yeah they really just have to tell us when they're releasing the gear hub i know they're really trying to milk that and trying to make it seem like a secret update or something that's bullshit literally nobody gives a shit anymore we've already seen the gear hub we, we have already seen the reviews we already know how it works on the base on a basic level not like completely because i haven't seen somebody do like a full thorough on how it works, but because you know it's all new accounts, it's not a uh, late game account, so they can only show you really early game gameplay. So really, just tell us: is it going to be released this year or not? If it's not, then uh, I encourage every people, every person playing this game, just quit it because the developers don't care. Like <laughs> they have to release it by the end of the summer, otherwise, I'm just going to quit making videos on this game. Like I'll make one or two videos like once every two or three weeks like really i don't see the point of me making videos on a game that is slowly dying and the developers don't want to like give the players any information like there's only so much you can do about withholding information to try and like give a secret update like plarium people don't give a shit about that they don't care about surprises Yes, those are fun. Yes, those are cool. What we want is the game to be fixed. We don't care about new stuff right now. 
I mean, some people do, but for the most part, like 80% of the people just want the game to be good for everybody, free to play, people who are paying a little bit money, whales who are spending thousands, tens of thousands of dollars on the game just to max out stuff. Like, we just want the game to be fixed. You can see it on your YouTube section. Every time you post something, there are hundreds of comments. When is the fucking gear hub coming? Just tell us. That's simple. I do apologize for swearing to my viewers, not to, you know, the developers, because really, uh, it's your, it's on you guys at this point. Like, it's been on you guys for a while at this point, and at this point, it's just you guys not giving shit. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, I explained, like, specifics on my last video, if you want to see that, how to save the game, just gameplay, bots, matchmaking, um, like... That, those are like the three main things, really. Place people who spend a shit ton of money somewhere else. Um, don't do it based on like mech gear hanger power because those vary differently depending on what you have. You can have like a mech style mech, but like rank two weapon and you can still have a lot of power. Like you guys made a ranking system that literally does not work. <laughs> and... You called it one of the best matchmaking systems in the game. Like, the audacity of that and just how it failed is so funny, but also kind of sad. Then it makes me wonder what your idea was in the first place. Like, yeah, it makes sense that you make the bots harder every time you win. But making them maxed out legendary weapons, legendary implants. What the fuck were you thinking? Seriously, like... It, that just makes no sense to me. Unless somebody has those exact same parts and is at least as skillful as the AI, there's no way they're going to fucking win. So you're basically giving them an automatic loss. And in any game, giving somebody an automatic loss that they can't win through with skill automatically makes the game shit. I'm sorry, but it's true. If you can't win with skill, you can only win by paying more. Then it's not a good game. It's literally just... Open your wallet and win. Like, why would people continue playing the game? I'm going to, like, try and end this video soon because I'm just going to keep griping. But seriously, literally, they're making the bots harder every time you play and win a game. And otherwise, you'll face even harder opponents like players, which makes it even harder because they actually know how to play the game. They have some skill to them. Whereas the bots, yeah, they're a little skillful, but you can... They're, they're pretty stupid. You can play around them. And I think that's the reason why Mechorina made them so overpowered is because the bots are stupid. So the only way they could, like, players could feasibly feel like they're having a challenge is the bots are maxed out. Yes and no. It only works when rarities and, like, levels and ranks are all around equal. Because that's how the fucking game works. You literally made the game. You built the stats, you built the meta, you built everything, and you fuck it up every single freaking time you try and update the game. At least for the past three months, that's that's been my experience so far. It's like you either don't address it, you just release something new to, you know, distract players, or you completely mess it up. So yeah, please watch my last video, Plarium. This will probably be my last video until you release the Gear Hub. Maybe I'll release one more. I keep saying it, but... No, that's not true. I'll keep doing 5v5 gameplay because it, it is pretty fun. Um, but, like, I can only do one or two battles because it, it just – it's so repetitive and, like, I face the same bullshit like every other battle. Like, it makes it repetitive and not fun to play. That That's it. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. As always, AOG Gaming here. If you're enjoying the content, please like and subscribe. really shows your support. Helps me out. Keeps you up to date with my content. 94 subscribers and going strong last time check. So you guys are amazing. Keep going. Um, I might record another video, but I don't know. My my, my right cheek is better today. Um, I think it's fine. All right. Well, anyway, thank you guys for watching as always. And I will see you guys later.